4th of July and the 150th anniversary of the Battle of Gettysburg, many traveled to Andersonville to remember those who fought for our independence. Fox 31's Jessica Fairley connects us to more on this story. On this 4th of July, an avenue of flags highlight the cemetery where thousands of prisoners of war are buried. As families celebrate the holiday, they tour the cemetery and remember those who risked their lives. A lot of my family was in the military, so we just came out to see. I also have a grandfather who was a prisoner of war, so we came to see kind of what he endured. Although Chrissy Churchwell's grandfather wasn't in the Civil War, the images of the Andersonville site gives her an idea of life in a prison camp. Disease and the lack of clean water paints a clear picture. There was a little uh, creek that came through the prison, but it wasn't, you know, any kind of roaring river fast enough to, to brush out the dirt. And, um, and filth because the prisoners did use it as their, as their laboratory. As Churchwell views the museum, she says she can't help but think about how her grandfather escaped captivity. They all leaned over with their shirts off and spelled POW. And so when the planes flew over, that's how they were rescued. Jack May was a soldier in World War II. He says celebrating the 4th of July is his way of remembering the past and those close to him who paid the ultimate price for freedom. I had a brother that was killed in the war. He was a navigator on a B-24, and I got killed one week before the war was over, but I served my time. May and Churchwell both say this Independence Day celebration is about acknowledging the men and women who are still fighting to secure our independence. Jessica Fairley, Fox 31 News.